Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Nick Gray, the high-tech traveler. If you haven't already heard, Google has just released the Android P public beta, which contains a ton of new features, ranging from visual tweaks to settings and notifications to even the volume controls. And then there's also the biggest feature among those, and that is app actions, which allows you to perform specific application actions like calling an Uber or a Lyft, or even checking into your location with Swarm without having to open up the application and navigate its UI to do so. But before you can play with any of those new features, you'll actually have to get the Android P public beta installed on your device. Now, typically, this has only been reserved for a handful of Nexus and Pixel devices in the past, but Google actually announced that it's gonna be available for devices from OnePlus, Oppo, Sony, Xiaomi Essential, and other manufacturers as well. Those devices all have their own unique installation processes, which will be linked in the video description. But getting the Android P public beta installed on your Pixel or Pixel 2 device is really simple, and I'm gonna show you right now. To start, you wanna open up your web browser and go to google.com slash android slash beta. You'll need to be logged into your Google account in order to enroll into the program, and then click view eligible devices. And then at the bottom, select opt-in. From there, Google will send an update notification to your phone you selected, which will prompt you to download and install the update. Now, jumping over to the Android P beta doesn't require you to wipe your device. Your phone will download and install the first version of the beta and will receive all subsequent updates automatically. Once Android P is officially released though this fall, the phone will be updated one last time with the official public build and will push you off of the beta track. But if you wanna jump off of that track a little bit sooner, it will require a complete system wipe to get back to Android Oreo. So make sure you think long and hard before jumping on the Android P beta bandwagon. The betas can often be buggy and really aren't recommended for daily use. If you do install the Android P public beta on your device, leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite new feature is. I'm gonna be uploading a new video early next week showing off my favorite new features as well. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you wanna see that as soon as it's available. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.